Almost 700 girls have been poisoned by toxic gas in Iran since November in what many believe is a deliberate attempt to force their school to shut. No girls have died but dozens have suffered respiratory problems, nausea, dizziness and fatigue. It became evident that some people wanted all schools, especially girls' schools, to be shut down, the Deputy Health Minister said on Sunday. However, he later said that his remarks have been misunderstood. The Prosecutor General announced last week that he was opening a criminal investigation. However, he said that the available information only indicated the possibility of criminal and premeditated acts. The first poisoning took place on 30 November when 18 students from the Nova Technical School in the religious city of Guam were taken to hospital. Since then, more than 10 girls' schools have been targeted in the surrounding provinces. At least 194 girls are reported to have been poisoned in the past week at four schools in the city of Berujard in western provinces of Laristan. And on Tuesday, another 37 students were poisoned at the Khaims Girls' School in Paradis near the capital of Tehran. The poisoned girls have reported the smell of tangerine or rotten fish before failing ill. Earlier this month, at least 100 people protested outside the governor's office in Guam. One said, You are obliged to ensure my children's safety, and all I can do is not let them go to school. One mother said, This is a war. They are doing this in a girls' high school in Guam to force us to sit at home. They want girls to stay at home. Some parents have said their children were ill for weeks after the poisoning. Another video from a hospital shows a teenage girl laying dashed on a bed with her mother. And when a mother says, Dear mother, I am a mother. My child is in a hospital bed and her limbs are weak. I pinch her but she does not feel anything. Please do not send your children to school but send somewhere else. At a news conference on Sunday, Deputy Health Minister Yunas Panahai said the girls had been poisoned by the chemicals that are not military grade and are publicly available. The pupils do not need any invasive treatment and it's necessarily to maintain calm. Dr. Panahi's comment that it was evident that some people wanted all schools to be closed down appeared to confirm the government believed the poisoning was premeditated. His subsequent denial suggested splits among officials over how to handle public anger when no suspects have been identified. The poisonings have notably been concentrated in Wam, a city that is home to important Shia Muslims, Shrins and the religious leadership that forms the backbone of Islamic Republic. Since September, the critical establishment has been challenged by the mass protests that erupted after the death in custody of a young Qudris woman, Mesa Amini, who was detained by morality police for allegedly falling to wear her headscarf properly. Some Iranians have speculated that if the schoolgirls are being poisoned as payback for their role in the unrest, Social media was flooded with videos showing schoolgirls ripping off their headscarves and chanting anti-establishment slogans. Others have speculated that the poisoning are the work of headliners who want to copy the Taliban in Afghanistan and militant Islamic group Boko Haram in Nigeria by terrorizing parents to stop sending their girls to school. Has Boko Haram come to Iran? Former Vice President Mohammad Ali Abtahi asked in an Instagram post. The reformist politician who warned that extremists will interpret the boundaries of government and religion in their favor. Iran's leaders have traditionally rejected criticism of its restrictions on women, such as the mandatory headscarf, and instead boasted about the numbers of women who attend university. But if young girls do not finish school, College is just a dream for them. A comment of one schoolgirl who says she has been poisoned twice at the meeting with Wam's governor earlier this month highlighted how vague and misleading some of the statements from the authorities have been. When she said, they tell us all is good, we have done our investigation. But when my father asked at my school, they told him, sorry, the CCTV has been down for a week and we can't investigate this.
and when i was poisoned for the second time on sunday the school principal said she has a heart condition that's why she is hospitalized but she said that she does not have any heart condition <laughs>